Most oceanic airspace requires the use of high-frequency HF radios. Selective calling or cell call is also used and an operational check should be performed when checking with each new controller. When able hire reports are used to facilitate en route climbs, they may be required or they may be optional depending on the Oceanic Control Area, OCA. Pilots should indicate the highest flight level they can accept and the time or position at which this can be achieved. When able hire reports should be made on initial contact with ATC at each OCA boundary. The report can also be added to the end of routine position reports. There are two things to remember regarding the when able hire or WAH report. First, a WAH is not interpreted as a request for a higher altitude. Second, an ATC acknowledgement of a WAH is not a clearance to change your altitude. A separate clearance request must be made. Communications regarding altitude changes in RVSM airspace is very important. Pilots should report when leaving an altitude. And when reaching level flight after making a climb or descent. The only exception is when under automatic dependent surveillance or radar contact. In oceanic airspace, Meteorological reports or MET reports of the wind and temperature in flight should be passed to ATC when required. On published airways, such as the North Pacific, the M symbol designates a required MET reporting point. In the North Atlantic airspace, when operating along an organized track, MET reports are only required if your flight is designated to give them as part of your oceanic clearance. MET reports are required on all flights that are not entirely along an organized track. If required, MET observations should be recorded crossing each longitudinal reporting point and midpoint. MET reports are given by appending them to the end of position reports. The format for these is shown on the appropriate chart. Now let's examine the standard phraseology used by pilots and controllers in domestic RVSM airspace. ATC may inquire if you and your aircraft are approved for RVSM operations. The phraseology used by ATC is confirm RVSM approved. The proper response is either a firm RVSM or negative RVSM. If not RVSM approved, be sure to include the reason, such as negative RVSM, due certification flight. If ATC denies your clearance, they will state unable to issue clearance into RVSM airspace. 
If ATC allows an unapproved aircraft to fly in or through RVSM airspace, the pilot should report negative RVSM for the following situations. In all requests for flight level changes pertaining to flight levels within the RVSM airspace. On the initial call on any frequency in the RVSM airspace. In all readbacks to flight level clearances pertaining to flight levels within the RVSM airspace. And in readbacks of flight level clearances involving climb or descent through RVSM airspace. If any of your required equipment for RVSM flight fails, such as all primary altimeters, automatic altitude control systems, altitude alerters, or transponder, you must state to ATC, unable RVSM do equipment. Be sure to repeat this restriction on initial contact to each controller while in RVSM airspace. If you are unable RVSM due to weather, be sure to state the reason, such as turbulence or mountain wave. When clear of the weather or if failed equipment has been resolved, inform ATC. The proper phraseology is confirm able to resume RVSM and ready to resume RVSM.